kuna watu huo hapa Kenya ambao kila siku wanatafuta njia ya kumwangusha rais katika kazi yake. Lakini nataka niwaambie wa Kenya, rais akianguka ni Kenya ameanguka. Ukimwambia rais aanguke, Kenya itafanya nini? Itaanguka. Na hakuna jambo baya kabisa kama maaskofu wanakaa wanatengeneza statement ambayo si ya ukweli halafu wanaenda wanaomba Mungu kwamba rais afail Kenya nzima inafanya nini inafail Mimi nataka niwaambie hata kama wewe ni askofu umepewa mamlaka ya kutawala mbinguni you need this country to be stable for you to preach the gospel you need this country So when I see this Catholic bishops doing it is unfair before God and before man to peddle lies and to use information that is incorrect to bash and actually pray God to curse this country. This is our country. Whether you are a bishop, whether you are a priest, whether you are imam, ni nani, you belong to this country. You have an obligation to pray for the president. You have an obligation to pray for this country so that it succeeds. But when we see men of cloth coming out not only to condemn a country, but also to curse this country, I think it is the highest level of insanity. So I want to ask them politely, if you have a problem with William Ruto as a president because you think you are people, the clan you come from, the tribe you come from, you think that tribe is not now with the president, then you mislead other bishops to come and condemn the president. I want to tell Bishop Uheria, you are wrong, you will not see heaven. You will not see heaven. Just because your friend was removed from being deputy president, you think now there, there is no need of being a clergyman. You want to be a tribal person. I want to tell the Bishop Muheria. I don't mean the brother angry bishop, but you can never think of that way. Bishop Muheria, you are wrong to mislead the Catholic Church. The Catholics are Kenyans. The Catholics will belong to this country, and the Catholics love this country. And we will not go by what you tell your other bishops to say.